You think that bent's gonna be 12,000? Is that the, head, the heaviest one is 12,000. But these are all 8 by 12s, so nothing small this one. And 40 feet up in the air. <laughs> yeah. John, with your experience, I'd like you to head up. Um, you know, what crews go where and keep an eye on that and how to pick the safety that's yeah. It's a small base plate, but the way it ended up playing out is that only two acres. But yeah, pretty easy to go pretty easy and get heavy. You can start this transition where you're tying on there, you the orientation of where you're going to tie before the whole transition goes. Hi, I'm Everett Skinner the fourth, and today we're coming to you with an exciting new project we've begun at our shop at Great Country Timber Frames. This is gonna be a massive Gambrel timber frame barn we're building out in central Iowa. Oh, I never get like six yeah, those are the measure shots you have to do here. And we got a barnyard one we're we'll bring out. This is a big timber frame project. It's a 64 by 150 timber frame barn, gambrel roof lines. It's gonna be 40 feet tall, clear span up to the ceilings with 12 foot lean-tos coming off both sides. It is a massive timber frame project. A timber frame project of this size requires a lot of coordination, design, and engineering. We have all of these services in-house to assist you with your large scale timber frame project. Once the project makes it out to the shop floor, we'll cut all the timbers on one of two of our state of the art CNC machines. These machines cut precise to one of the thousandths of an inch. We cut this whole entire barn in just a matter of weeks. Every single one of our craftsmen strives for perfection. You can see the complexity in each piece. Every single timber has many, many operations drilling, cutting, dovetailing, notching. It's unbelievable the amount of joinery in this project. The Douglas fir timbers to build this barn are massive. Some of the biggest and longest timbers in this project were 10 by 14 timbers, 34 feet long. Once the timbers are cut, sanded, and checked for quality control, they move out here to our staging area where all the units get packaged up and bundled with rainproof wrap. This project is going to have over 60 packages of timbers going out to central Iowa. This is going to be an epic barn raising. In just a couple of weeks, our team of about 20 timber framers will be on site in Iowa to raise this frame. Our team has made it on site to Iowa and we are ready to raise this incredible timber frame. This is our staging area right here. We have all of the Douglas fir timber spread out. It was six truckloads of timber to this job site. All the timbers are neatly stacked 
and stage in the order that they're going to be raised. This timber frame project has over 800 pieces of timber. We're gonna raise them one by one for this project, but it all starts with the right equipment. On this project, we have a lot of equipment. We have two cranes that are gonna be raising the timbers, working together. We also have two scissor lifts and four aerial boom lifts. All the timbers in this project are absolutely massive. This is a strut right here. The size of this timber is 10 by 14. The posts are also 10 by 14. We need to use equipment and the cranes to move everything. It is just too heavy to maneuver by hand. So what we're doing right here is pre-assembling the bents. The bents are the main carrying structure for this timber frame. In this project, there's 14 of them. These bents are massive. They are 40 feet wide and 40 feet tall. As you can see here, the Gambro roof line is starting to take shape. And these bends have to be carefully rigged and carefully picked to prevent them from breaking or cracking as they go up with the crane. When it comes to timber framing, joinery is practically the definition. We do not skimp on anything. All of our timbers are all true Morris and Tenon cut with our state-of-the-art CNC machine and crafted by our craftsmen in the shop. Here's an example here of a massive tenon that comes down on the strut. This has one, two, three, four oak pegs that'll connect this piece. A project like this also requires a good amount of steel. Here's an example of the hidden steel plates we're using on this timber frame. This is a base plate that we custom designed and welded. This base plate will fit into the bottom of the post, but of course everything stays hidden and concealed when it's all done, all internal knife plates. The sun is just coming up here on the job site. and We've already been here for an hour and a half prepping and getting ready for the day. And now it's time to get to work. We've assembled our team of the most talented craftsmen and timber framers in the world. Timber framing is hard work. Our team is not afraid of it. We are here to raise this barn and get it done in just over a week. I'm sorry, right, yeah. You're dropping that and not making that ridge line up, put them underneath. Yeah. Bring this up a half inch. Okay. We already have eight of the 14 bents standing in place here. And what we're doing is standing up the middle 40 foot section of this Gambrel barn. We're making great progress on this barn raising. Today is rafter day. For a project this big, we're utilizing two cranes to set the rafters into place. We're starting on opposite ends of the building and working in meeting in the middle.
an awesome day today. The rafters are all set. You can really start to see the Gambrel roof take shape and all the rafters fill in this frame really nicely. Now that the Gambrel frame is complete, we're adding 12 foot lean-tos to each side of the building. This building will feature a Gambrel style grand entry that comes out 30 feet and ties into the main building. So here we have the completed frame. It's a 64 by 152 Gambrel barn. It took us just over one week to complete the raising of this timber frame. Another crew will move in and complete the two by eight roof decking on the ceiling. And then the walls and the roof will get enclosed with sit panels, which are very energy efficient. The exterior will get clad with a reclaimed barn wood siding and a standing seam metal roof. Half the barn is going to be used for doing weddings and events. It features a huge gathering space. The center section features a loft which will look over the incredible space below. The other half of this building is going to be used for a trophy room. Down below in the basement there's going to be a complete commercial kitchen, a gun room, fireplace, wine cellar. As you come up to the main level there's going to be a huge indoor mountain that towers up 30 feet into the center of this building with an internal spiral staircase going from the basement level all the way to the top. There's so much that goes into a project like this, from the initial design, the engineering, cutting of the frame, and out here raising it on site. I am so proud to work alongside such a talented team of craftsmen on this crew. We're the only timber frame company in the world that could pull this off. If you're planning an event barn, you'll want to reach out to us. There is nothing like the feel of a timber frame structure. We can help you design and build the event barn of your dreams.